Hey guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I bring you what sold in May. All right, so I really apologize. Here it is, almost the end of June, um, and I'm just bringing you the sales from May, um, but it's just been a really rough month, just to be honest with you, and I'm still sick, uh, so I'll apologize now um, if I'm coughing a little bit during the video. I do have my trusty water, so hopefully I won't have to take too many breaks um, and we can get on through this. So let's go ahead and get started before I lose my voice um, so I can share with you guys some of my sales from May. Now, May, I didn't have any huge sales, um, but I did have some consistent sales, which is what matters, right? If you wanna keep a sustainable business, Business. You want to make sure that what you call the bread and butter items are still selling. Um, so that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in and we'll get started. So this first item here um, is still a new brand for me, but it's a great seller is what I have learned. Um, this is a Torrid black blazer, and I found this at a yard sale with a whole slew of other Torrids, and I only have a few pieces left, which is awesome. Only paid $2 for this, and I sold it for $20. So that's kind of the going rate, it seems like, is $20 to $25. The more unique the item is, the better it will sell. However, um, I did sell just a basic like tank top by Torrid last month, um, and that sold really well as well. So. This is sought after. Um, it's a plus size women's brand. Um, it's very popular still. So this was a good seller. Um, this next item is, again, one of my bread and butters. It's still Ralph Lauren. It still sells. <laughs> so those that don't think Ralph Lauren sells, it does. Um, this is a basic white striped polo shirt for men. Um, I only paid $3 for it and I sold it for $20. Um, this was a nice pair of shoes that I purchased. Um, these are Sam Edelman shoes, um, and it was black with a silver wedge um, sandal. So these were really pretty. Paid $4 for these and sold them for $20, and I sold those on Poshmark. Also sold the um, Tory Blazer on Poshmark. So Poshmark is still consistent. I haven't figured out how to increase my Poshmark sales, but I'm still averaging about 15 sales a month on Poshmark. So I'm not quite sure I'm sharing, I'm adding listings. So hopefully my followers are growing and hopefully that is what will help with the business and increase that. Um, let's see, what is next? This item here is just a basic North Face brown fleece. Um, I sat on this for a really long time and actually uh, had somebody contact me on eBay and ask me for a different measurement. Um, and I, whenever I get those, I always kind of grumble because it, it never turns into a sale for some reason. Um, but this one did. So still make those measurements. It still might turn into a sale. Um, but this one I only paid $1.25 for, so I couldn't pass it up. And I sold that for $16. Um, I also sold another North Face shirt here. This is just a basic shirt. Um, it was a green paisley short sleeve shirt, t-shirt. Um, I paid a little much for this, $3.99, but I did sell it for $15, so at least it still sold. <laughs> just not a huge profit. Um, <coughs> I don't just do clothing. Um, this item here is just a basic Boyd's Bear with a Princeton sweatshirt, and that's the reason I picked it up. My husband actually found this at a church uh, flea market sale. Um, and I don't normally look at these, but he looked it up and he wanted me to sell it for him. Um, we only paid $3 for it and sold it for 15. So I thought that was cool. So I think it's the unique ones. Maybe they still sell. Um, this item here is Brooks Brothers. Again, another one of my favorite brands, but this is a child's shirt. It's just a brown long sleeve dress shirt. Um, paid a dollar for it, so why not? And I sold it for $16. So even the kids Brooks Brothers also sell. Um, this was a really nice pair of pants. I wanted to keep if they had fit me, but they don't. <laughs> this was a J. Crew. Um, I call it Madras. It's a plaid um, stitched style. Excuse me. It looks like patchwork. Uh, pair of capri pants. So I thought these were really cute. Um, I did pay $4.50 for these, but I sold them for $25. So that was great. Um, let's see here. What else? This is Peter Millar. These are really nice golf polo shirts. Um, this was just, it had said summer comfort blue stripe polo. Don't know what made it special. Um, but only paid $3 and 49 cents for that and sold it for $40. Now I've heard that if it has the logo of some of the more popular golfing courses that they can sell for more. So if you live in an area that has a really nice golf course, make sure you keep an eye out for, um, this brand with the golf logos on them. Um, let's see, we'll keep moving here. This one's just a unique sweatshirt I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> Not a huge profit, but I thought it was cool. This is a Carlos Bakery um, black rhinestone hoodie. It had all these like red and clear rhinestones all over it. My oldest daughter really wanted it, but I told her <laughs> I had to try to sell it first, and I did. I only paid a dollar for this, and I sold it for $14. So, just kind of something unique. Um, another unique item here, this is an American Girl Doll Starry Night outfit. 
bought it at a yard sale. I think it's the same one I bought all the torrid items from. Only paid $2 for this. It was really cool. Had all the little accessories in there. It was so cute. Um, and I sold it for $25. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? This one I loved. I would have kept it myself, but red's not my color. Um, but this is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, and it's a toiletry set. It had a box toiletry travel box, and then it had like a um, makeup case to go inside of it. So it was a two piece. Um, I paid a little much for this, but I knew it would sell. Um, I paid $8.99 for this, um, but I sold it for $30. And it also went international. I shipped it somewhere else. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so this next item here is by Tommy Bahama. I still really love this brand, um, especially the linen shirts, which is what this is. It is a white short sleeve linen shirt. Um, only paid $1.50 for this, and I sold it for $20. So if they are linen, pick up the Tommy Bahamas. Uh, let's see, keep moving here. This is Athleta. This is a newer brand for me as well, but I had heard it and seen it on the YouTube videos and Instagram and some other places and saw that it was really good. It's actually an athletic brand by Gap. Um, so you wouldn't think it'd be good, but there is a following for this brand. So Athleta, this is like a blue gray colored long sleeve um, zip front sweatshirt. Um, paid $3 for this and I sold it for $25. So this is a brand to be on the lookout for. Um, let's see here. This is just a generic item, but I wanted to talk about this. This is a golf cross stitch and it was completed in the frame. Um, uh, I always look for the completed framed works of art. Um, it seems kind of odd that people would want to buy completed cross stitch, um, but they sell, especially ones that are novelty items. Like this one's a golf brand. Um, sometimes like Noah's Ark for nurseries, things like that, um, will sell really well. Only paid 50 cents for this and I sold it for $10. So not a huge profit, but it was a nice profit. Um, also make sure you keep your eye out for cross stitch kits so those um, they don't sell them a lot anymore the ones that include the thread include the patterns and everything inclusive into a kit always make sure you look those up in the thrift store um, let's see, here's the other torrid item that I sold. This is just a pleated faux leather skirt. It was really cute, um, flowy style to it. Only paid a dollar at that thrift, at the uh, yard sale that I went to and I sold it for $25. So this was a good one. Uh, let's see here keep plugging here. I wanted to show this one. I've been sitting on this one for a while, but it's just a 50 states book, um, which was kind of cool. Um, and let's see here, I only paid a dollar for this. I think it was at a churchyard sale um, and I sold it for $10. So books still sell, <laughs> especially some of the unique ones. Uh, let's see. This is a cool pair of Crocs, believe it or not, but this was a cork wedge sandal. Um, the unique Crocs do sell still, um, not necessarily the big clunky Crocs, um, but the unique sandals do. Um, paid $4 for these and I sold them for $25. Um, let's see here. This is pretty neat. Um, this is a Under Armour black compression shirt, um, but it was by NFL. So that's why I picked it up because it had the unique NFL uh, logo on it. Um, paid $3 for this and I sold it for $20. So I love Under Armour, especially if it has something unique about it or something on it. All right, so this next item, again, new brand. See, I'm still experimenting too. I've been doing this for years and I'm still experimenting with brands, but I keep seeing this brand, so I keep buying this brand. It's by Custo, C-U-S-T-O, Barcelona. Um, and this here is a really cool yellow and brown um, t-shirt. It had this lady on it with the butterflies and it looked brand new. So I picked this one up for $3.49 at a Goodwill and I sold it for $20, so. Be on the lookout for that brand. Also have a purse for sale right now and that brand has a lot of watchers so I'm sure that will sell as well soon. Um, this here is a JJ Cole which is a high-end or kind of a medium end I guess um, diaper bag brand. <laughs> so I picked this up. This is more of the Metro dad bag is what I call it. Um, it was just gray. It was like we got a sling bag on it. It actually had some stitching issues um, on the strap um, but it still sold. Only paid a dollar for this I guess because of the damage on it um, and I sold it for $16. So I thought that was good sale. Um, this one surprised me. This is another purse. Um, it's by a brand called T-Shirt and Jeans, which is not a high-end brand, um, but it was a cute little faux leather messenger purse. It had a little flap on the front. Um, paid $2.50 for this, and I actually sold it for $18, so I was really surprised by that, um, and it looks like I sold it on Poshmark. Um, Let's see here. Um, pick this next item here up at a yard sale. This is a Nike um, golf belt three in one. It had like three webbing uh, and one little belt buckle with it and the little kit. It was brand new in the box. Um, paid $4.50 for this, but I did sell it for $18. So that was a nice sale on Poshmark. Um, this shirt I just think is so pretty. This is Brooks Brothers again. This is a red linen men's shirt. Um, I don't find the linen very often for Brooks Brothers, so I knew that this would be a good seller. Um, paid $4.05 for it, and I sold it for $20. So that was great. 
This item I have been sitting on for a while, but this is something you want to look for in the thrift stores. This is by Le Sport Sac. Now, Le Sport Sac will do um, limited edition um, branded purses. Um, so sometimes they do Disney purses I've sold before. This one is called Toki Doki. So it's kind of a two in one. So people that love the Le Sport Sac brand and then people that love this thing called Toki Doki. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's kind of a Japanese is what I call it, um, kind of theme behind it. Um, but I have been sitting on this one for a little while. Paid $4.50 for it, but I did sell it for $35. So it still turned out, it was really tiny. It was just this little like wristlet um, purse that had a strap that went across the top. So I um, still thought that was a really great sale. So be on the lookout for this. Um, I also sold this White House Black Market. Love White House Black Market. Um, this was a really pretty white cardigan that had beads all over it. It was just so pretty. Um, paid $2.99 for this and I sold it for $30. All right, so some of my higher things that I sold this month. Um, this one um, is Skechers. Uh, and this was a brand new pair of tan suede men's sneaker boots. That's what I called them. Um, I did pay $10 for these, but I knew that they'd be a good seller. And I sold them for $37.39. I know that sounds weird, but I think when the you added in the shipping that the buyer paid, it came up to an even number. Some buyers are kind of quirky like that and they want an even number. Um, so it was still a good profit for that, but I took a little risk by spending that much on them. Um, here's another pair of shoes that I bought. These are Nike flip-flops, and they wouldn't look um, like anything interesting, um, but the Nike brand still sells to dedicated followers, and they were brand new, so that kind of helped. Um, only paid $4 for these, and I sold them for $32, so I thought that was amazing. Um, so <laughs> these next items here, so there's two different kinds. These are Starbucks tumblers, and one was a rainbow style, and one was what they called rose gold studded like an iridescent color um and i wanted to talk about these for a second so um i'm new to instagram but i follow a few people that sometimes will put out those um bolos be on the lookouts for these retail arbitrage items so basically what that means is you can go into a retail store and purchase certain items that are limited edition or clearance and then flip them on ebay macari poshmark things like that so it's like hey i love starbucks let me go give this a try so i went out and i purchased these rainbow stumble and the um studded tumblers um, and it broke even. So I was kind of sad about this because I spent a lot of money on these. They were like $18 to $24. And I thought, well, if I can flip them over for $50, that would be great. It just wasn't happening. I think everybody in the world saw it and everybody went out and bought these. Um, the ones that were really desirable were the rainbow plastic cups that changed colors and the stores only got like two boxes a piece. Um, so those blew out of the stores really quickly. And unfortunately I could not get my hands on those. Those would have been a good flip. So I'm kind of dabbling a little bit in that area with retail arbitrage. Sometimes I feel like you're kind of limited when you go to thrift stores um, in terms of what you have, whereas your retail stores are always there and they always have clearance sections. So I'm kind of like working on that. There are certain brands you have to be careful careful of that are blocked on eBay and Amazon and places like that you cannot sell. So be careful. Um, so when you see these bolos, do your research, make sure you're going to at least break even if you're going to take the risk and spend the money on these. So that's what these sales are. <laughs> and don't always believe what you see. So it may look awesome that you sold this for $70, but there was two and they each cost $25 each. So I made no money on these after shipping. <laughs> so um, just because you see a huge sale does not mean that there's a big profit in it. So please make sure that you ask questions and make sure that you make smart decisions in your buying um, when you're getting things. All right, so we'll move on from that. Um, this item here was really cool and surprising. Um, I purchased this, it was actually hanging in the dress section at a Goodwill. Um, it's an Under Armour, but it's a jersey and it's actually a real football jersey that they wear because they're really long and they tuck them into their pants, I guess. And that's why it looked like a dress, I'm guessing. Um, but I only paid $4.98 for this and I sold it for $45. Just thought that was crazy. Um, but hey, it's sold. Uh, let me see if I hit on everything else that I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, one last thing. So I picked this up at a yard sale. This is a really cool purse. Um, it's by a company I'd never heard of before called Kath Kidston. Yeah, Kath Kidston. They're out of London. And she had actually traveled to London and bought this in London, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it's like a um, coated canvas material. It had this really pretty bird pattern on it. Um, but I only paid $4 for it. Again, yard sales are amazing. And I sold it for $40. So I thought that was really cool. And I bought another purse that I just sold in June. So I'll share with you guys next month um, what I bought at that yard sale as well. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'm so sorry that I'm chalked up. <coughs> Hopefully I'll get over this soon. 
Um, make sure you leave your comments below if you have questions about any of the things I share with you guys today. Also, make sure you like the videos and subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you guys all of these awesome videos. Um, also, make sure you leave comments on what you guys want to see for videos. I don't mind ideas. I love ideas actually on what you guys want to see. All right, guys, until next time, happy thrifting.